everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my favorites video, which is meant to be a monthly thing, but I end up doing it like quarterly. <laughs> so it's a, a few months worth of catch up of things that I've been loving. And if you're new to my channel, actually for my old Musa fam as well, a favorites video was actually the very first video I ever did on my channel. So when it really comes down to it, I realized that this is my true passion, like why I started my channel, because I love to share things that I've found just really honestly and genuinely that are amazing. I like to share good things with my friends in real life as well, my family too, whether it's like products or news or good information. So it's just in me, I like to share good things. And so my favorites video ends up being what I really look forward to. I find myself through the month, like constantly thinking, oh, I can't wait to show this to my fans. Can't wait to talk about this in my favorites video. So today I have a lot of Korean skincare and makeup and also some Western products that are here and there as well. There are some OG classics and there are some like brand new stuff stuff that I can't wait to share. And also, I have a super exciting announcement to share with you guys. Something I've been working on for so long, guys. I'm so... <laughs> I can't believe how long this took for me to do. I've done this a few times in the past, but usually with another brand or company. But this time, it's the first time I'm doing it by myself with my business curated by Jen. So I can't wait to share it with you because this is months in the making. I'm trying to fix my posture lately. I realize that I start to hunch a lot. But yeah, I'm sorry if I like hunch. By the way, I haven't cut my bangs. These are actually just another set of regrowth postpartum. It's like my third natural fringe postpartum. So it means that I'm losing hair and gaining hair constantly. And right now, because I'm pregnant, I realize that the loss has stopped, but I'm still getting like the baby strand hairs a lot. So anyways, I hope you guys are looking forward to this video. Just a little disclaimer up front for anyone who's new here. My favorites video are not review videos. My review videos are the places where I go in depth and talk about the ingredients and break it down and pros and cons and stuff. I try to keep my favorites a little bit more brief, although I always say this, but my personality just is super specific and detailed. So I do end up elaborating a lot, but please don't have expectations expectations of like a full-on review video. This is a place where I just gather what I've been really loving and share it with you guys who already trust my opinions. Okay, so just a little disclaimer out there and uh, I have so many products, so let's zoom through this. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start off with some skincare and then share with you guys my exciting announcement, <laughs> which you guys already know. I've been talking about it for months. So first off, I talked about this product in, my, I think it was in my Best of Beauty Awards for last year, which was done like at the beginning of the year. What I've been really loving is the Clederm Dr. Lacto Barrier Cream Toner. If you guys remember me talking about it in that video, they basically smell like Yakult, if you know what that is. It's a probiotic yogurt drink. I'm sure you guys know what it is, right? But it really smells like a beautiful, sweet Yakult probiotic. And it is actually because this brand actually contains probiotics in their products. So it is a brand called Clederm. And as I mentioned in my previous Best of Beauty Awards video, it's just got really, really gentle, mild ingredients. It's really nourishing and very hydrating without being sticky. That's like one of my pet peeves of skincare. I don't like it when it gets sticky um, and like just gloopy and I feel like washing it off my skin. And this toner is a cream toner. So it's one of those multi-function products, not just a light watery toner, but it does have that creamy kind of essence to it. So it feels a little bit more nourishing than a regular like watery toner. Pretty much all of my skincare products that I'm mentioning in this video have no fragrance in it. So let's just put that as a foundation so I'm not repeating myself. So there's no fragrance, no parabens, no harsh alcohols and I love, love, love it. So I use it also on my body as well. It has so much product in here. It smells beautiful. It applies really nicely. It absorbs nicely. And it's just a really pleasant experience all around. I feel like it's very hydrating and moisturizing and protecting on the skin. Okay, this is a new brand that I've come across recently. And I have actually quite a few products from this brand to show you. I had to cut out a lot because I can't just show you every single thing. Otherwise there's too many, but I've been loving pretty much every product from this brand, which I recently came across like maybe six months ago or so, but I love it. And I've never seen it before. I've never heard anyone talking about it. So it's pretty much very, very new, but it's called Toa Kain or House of Toa. They're basically all about Korean rice that's grown and cultivated here in Korea very, very carefully. Their motto basically is that they mix together the ancient techniques that's been around for thousands of years in Korea on proper rice cultivation in a really natural way without using any pesticides or anything and how Koreans have always used rice in their beauty products 
works in conjunction with like modern techniques of beauty. So that's kind of like their motto. But what I've been really loving so much is their rice bran toner. This is massive. <laughs> you guys all know that I just love rice in my products. Just starting from SK2 when I first started my YouTube channel, which still like I love, but it does have preservatives and parabens in it. Whereas, you know, there are a lot of really gentle formulas from Korean brands that just work really well. Rice is good for your skin in so many different ways. It's nourishing, it evens the skin tone, and it helps your skin to glow really naturally and give a brightened effect when it's really dull or like it needs to pick me up. So yeah, the ingredients are amazing. They're so gentle. The toner is so massive and it can be used in so many different ways, not just on your face, but on your whole body. I use it on my stomach as well as my first step of my skincare routine for my belly stretch marks right now, which I've like started to work on. So I actually dumped a little bit into this little spray bottle, carry it around with me and use it throughout the day on my face or on my stomach or on my body. It's not sticky at all. It's beautiful. I love their cleansing powder as well. It's a rice brand powder. You know those powder cleansers that you dilute in the water? I really wanted to show it to you guys, but like I stopped myself because too many products. But another thing I've been loving is their rice bran facial moisturizer. This is like one of the most condensed, rich, nutritious rice-based cream products that I've ever come across. Like a little goes a long way. It's really nourishing. It has absolutely no fragrance and parabens, harsh alcohols, animal ingredients, essential oils, all those issue chemicals basically. They also have this beautiful white rice wash-off mask. They have a pumpkin version as well. I think there's an orange one, but this one is really nice. It's got little like granules in here and basically I keep it in the fridge and whenever I need a pick-me-up, I just like squeeze it and put it all all over my face. It does like a super concentrated nourishment and cleansing and brightening kind of effect. In about 10 minutes, my skin is feeling amazing. It washes off really nicely. It's really gentle. It cleanses whilst it feels soft. That's what I love about rice too. It just like leaves your skin so soft. So I absolutely love these little face mask packs and I just have it always in my fridge. I needed to curate this brand on Curated by Jen and we did put them in stock. So I'm so excited for you guys to try them out because I know a lot of you guys also have been into rice products. Oh my gosh, I need to hurry because I spent so long on those products alone. Okay, next up are serums. So the serums that I've been loving have also been the ones that I mentioned in my Best of Beauty Awards video, which is the Beauty of Chozon serums. And the two that I've been loving is the Glow Deep Serum with the Rice and Arbutin, another rice-based product for a glowing skin complexion. And the Revive Serum with Ginseng and Snail Mucin. So I actually use this one on my face really well on a very regular, almost daily basis. And this one is when I feel like I just need a little bit more nourishment, a little bit more moisture, a little bit more retention. And also I've been loving it on my belly too. So my serum step, <laughs> I've come up with this entire like elaborate way to lather my skin during pregnancy to avoid stretch marks getting worse than it should be. But yeah, so I've been loving these two. Um, I have multiple bottles throughout my house. They are so gentle. They are very tiny, but they don't get used up that quickly. And and yeah, I still love them as much as when I mentioned it earlier in my Best of Video Awards video. Next up have been these pads from Dewey Tree. And I think I mentioned it in Best of Video as well. The AC Control Deep Green Calming Pads. They contain 60 of them. So they're dual pads made of 100% cotton. Comes with a spatula. And just whenever I need a pick-me-up, I just place it on my face face. It smells amazing. <laughs> it smells so refreshing and minty-ish. It kind of smells like those Christmas candies. I forgot what they call the candy canes. And they're like this soft natural green color soaked in a beautiful concoction of skin soothing ingredients. So when my face is feeling a little bit irritated and I want to quickly pick up the hydration levels of my skin, maybe before makeup or something, or just throughout the day if I don't have time to take out a whole sheet mask, I actually use this as kind of like patchwork on my face. The circles are the perfect shape for the cheeks. I love to just like place this on and it feels like I've got like a cucumber face mask or something. I love it. It's great quality for the price. Another thing that I love is the Ginseng Essence Water from Beauty of Chosan. So together with these guys serums, I have been loving this so much. I use this on a daily basis. I use it all over my body and my face as well. It's 80% Ginseng root water with 
2% niacinamide. So it's nourishing, it's soothing. There's so many good things of ginseng for your skin. Of course, it's good if you consume it, but for your skin, it's also amazing. So I've been absolutely loving this. You guys have probably seen it. It was in my favorites last time too, I think. And for eye cream, the one I've been loving is the Plant Faces Time Stop Peptide Eye Cream. This eye cream I came across relatively recently, I think a couple of months ago. You can use it not just on your eyes, but for face, it's like the AHC eye cream. I think they kind of took after or got inspiration from AHC's you know, eye cream for face concept because that's actually what it is and it's the kind of same tube and everything. But I like this better. AHC has artificial fragrance in it. This one doesn't. It contains honey. It's got 46% rose and honey extracts. It's got peptides in there. It's non-fragranced. It doesn't contain 18 of those harsh chemicals. So no phenoxyethanol and all those stuff that I stay away from. But I find that this is superior to so many of the eye creams that I have, which is why I end up kind of like reaching for this one over and above the others. I even compared to like, for example, Sum, which is a high-end Korean brand, I think that one is great, but it's almost a little bit too rich and thick and it does not feel that gentle for the skin. Like it almost feels like I'm going to get Milia if I use it, even though it's really nice, but it's so expensive as well. Um, this one, it's a very nice, very blendable and light texture, but it's doesn't just fly away and it's very silky and just really pleasant. So good. I use this every single night. And just for anyone watching, it's a quick little tip. Whenever I'm doing eye cream, I also apply a little bit of the eye cream on my neck as well. So that's the time I kind of like focus in on those wrinkles. I find that eye cream works really good as a neck cream. Anyways, next up. Oh yes, this one is something that I've been absolutely loving, but it's so expensive, <laughs> but it's so good. Um, it's the Serum Kind Deep Antarctic Dry. This is a new brand, never heard of, never seen anyone talking about it. <laughs> My team and I came across them and I do believe that they're a relatively new brand. They actually have makeup as well, but I love their aesthetics. I love their concepts. It's just super minimal and very retro and almost like Scandinavian feel from their packaging. But this is the one product that I chose that I really wanted to start off as a curation for Curated by Jen. And I use it on a daily basis as well, like kind of alternating between other serums that I have, including this Kuru of Chosen. But this one is so beautiful. It's strengthening and moisturizing. So when I feel like I need like a stronger nourishment and stronger moisture, this is the one that I go for. And I like, I love it. The texture is beautiful. And this blue color is actually from a natural coloring. Let me see what the information was that we had. Hang on. Yes. Okay. This blue color comes from this microbe that's found in the Antarctic called Antarcticine. That's what helps to lift and firm the skin's elasticity. It's really, really nice to blend, but it's quite thick. It kind of reminds me of, I guess, aloe vera gel, but not as watery. It's a little silkier and thicker than aloe vera gel, but it feels kind of similar. Although it's really light and nice to apply and absorbs very quickly, it just really stays on the skin and helps to retain the moisture level. So it's like amazing. I absolutely love it. And I knew that I had to curate this one. So we have this one in store and keep your eyes out for Serum Kind. They actually have a few other serums that are really good too. You guys know that I love Chaga, Chaga Bosset, <laughs> Chaga Bosset which is this special mushroom that grows for like 20 years on this tree trunk or something. I love drinking it as well. It's like a miracle product for if you've got any sickness in your body, to be honest. But I love it when it's in skincare as well. And they have a Chaga serum too, and as well as some other, other yellow melon one or something. But I wanted to just start off with one because I know you guys have never heard of this brand. And we also have a kind of budget as well for like buying a lot of stock up front. But the one pick that I wanted to introduce you guys to was this one. And I'm pretty sure this will probably make it into my best of video awards for the end of 2022. For cream, I've been loving these two creams, the Aqua Pump Emily Cream, which you guys saw in my best of video awards video too, and the Potions Cream Mixer. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this brand. It's just a really simple, minimal design. They have these separate amples that come in the different categories, and it's just pure ample of that ingredient. For example, this is mugwort. This is hyaluronic acid. This one is a peptide. This is vitamin B12 and there's like a ton of others. And the whole concept around this is that as the name suggests, it's a cream mixer. So it's a white cream that's super gentle. It's just like the perfect type of cream that you guys can imagine Jen would love. Has no fragrance, <laughs> all that jazz. It just blends really nicely. It's beautiful, it's nourishing. It doesn't just fly away. It's like a true proper cream. But here you're supposed 
to actually add like one or two drops of whatever ampoule that you choose for your skin's need that day and mix it in with the cream and apply it together. So not only does it actually save time, it saves you from a lot of unnecessary exposure to other ingredients that you would need. If you, for example, want to add hyaluronic acid to your skincare routine, but you're using like a separate serum that has hyaluronic acid as just one of the ingredients and has like tons of other like preservatives and everything. Um, this is a really good way to avoid doing that because it's just like the pure ampoule with the mixer together. And I think it's really good because it's like tailored skincare for whatever you need. So I have been really liking this. I use the hyaluronic acid the most and the peptide. So that's that. And this one is the one that I mentioned to you guys in my last video. Also, when I was doing the search for the top 10 best Korean creams, this was one of my ultimate top ones. This is like my ultimate find. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting it because Atopalm has previously never been something that really took my fancy. It never really caught my attention. But I realized how excellent this brand really is after I delved into like ingredients and did like super comprehensive testing and things. It's not just any brand that just like copies a formula and you know, splashes is their own brand over and just changes the product packaging. They actually have amazing research that's very unique to them and they contain this special technology in their creams. This one is like a super, super deep hydration cream. So if you're looking for something to soothe and hydrate the skin with that skin barrier effect and function, this is the one to go for if you want to get something that's worth your money. And it actually comes in a really massive tub because you're supposed to use it not just for the face but all over the body as well. So yeah, it comes with so much. Seriously, I don't know how I'm going to finish it but you you can double this up as a body cream and just leave it in your bathroom and just like lather it wherever you need at all times. So yeah, here's what it looks like. It is very thick. You only need a tiny bit, but it absorbs really nicely. It has so many good ingredients in here that I don't have time to break down for you in this video, but you can use this as hand cream as well. It's like super effective. I love it. I love it. And I love it. <laughs> okay, so that's for skincare. Atopalm actually comes out with a lot of good baby products. I use quite a lot of Atopalm baby products on Leo. Okay, so time for my special announcement. So I have been working on a beauty box for you guys for the past like four months or, so, or even more. I'll save you guys the details, but basically we have come out with it finally. <laughs> I've done beauty boxes before, but this is my very own first one. It's curated by Jen in the front. My sister and I worked so hard on this box packaging. Look at the inside. I'm proud, this is my little baby. But basically what we have put together is an amazing value box of my literal favorite products at the best prices. Like literally you're getting more than half of these products for free basically. And it's only for a limited time, but it's all of the skincare that I have been mentioning. Here's what it looks like, ta-da! Got one, two, three. Oh, I totally forgot to mention the sunscreen. Wait, before I go into it, there is a sunscreen in the beauty box tube. And this is my recent favorite find out of my entire career. Guys, this is my favorite sunscreen that I've ever found. And I have like hundreds of sunscreens at home right now. <laughs> I've tried all of the very raved about sunscreens as well. What I look for in a sunscreen, things that don't have homosalates and all of the avobenzone octosalates, things that are horrible for the body. <laughs> People just ignore in their chemical sunscreens that are cancer causing and are really bad for when you're pregnant or have children as well. I look for mineral or physical sunscreens because I feel like it's safer because the chemical sunscreens go into the bloodstream. So I definitely do opt for physical, but most of the physical ones are usually really thick or have a really strong smell or have a very strong like white cast. So it's kind of hard to find a purely physical sunscreen that has a really beautiful formula. In the past, I kind of compromised and I'd be like, meh, as long as it's physical, I can deal with the slight thickness or something. But I found something that is amazing in my last video, if you guys saw it, of my unboxing. I found this, I knew I would love it and I've been absolutely loving it. So what I actually did was we had this other product that was supposed to be in here and last minute I was like, I need my viewers to try this one out. So even though it was a lot of kerfuffle towards the end, we quickly changed it and we've added this one into the box because I know you guys all love your sunscreens and it's like the absolute best sunscreen that I've actually come across. It's such a nice tone up cream. It's very light, it's blendable. I love it, it's non-fragrance. <laughs> it doesn't give you a white cast, but it gives you a little bit of a brightened effect. Super slight, so it's actually really good as a makeup base as well. You can use it on your kids and I could go on forever. So anyways, this is the 
the dun -dun -dun, <laughs> beauty box. It's called Lit From Within because the theme is it contains things that are brightening for dull skin or if you've got tired or stressed skin or you need a pick me up because you're just working your ass off and you need to treat yourself a little bit. This has been made just for you guys to enjoy. It contains one, two, three, four, five, six products with two masks. These masks are also amazing, non-fragrance, very gentle, very effective, moisturizing, non-sticky, absolute favorites. So I put them in. This one is from a brand called Budiani. It's called the Hobak Mask, pumpkin mask. And then this one is the Lotus Water Calming Sheet Mask from Revectin, which you guys would probably know. Budiani is a new brand that you guys probably have not heard of, but they have really great collagen-based products. All up, you get the Barrier Cream Toner from Dr. Lacto, the Cell Happy Co Inorganic Tone Up Sun Cream, which I just mentioned, my absolute favorite. You guys have to try it out. It's the best, seriously. The Beauty of Chosan Rice and Arbutan Serum, which I thought was really good for that glow pick-me-up. Another rice thing in here is the House of Toa White Rice Wash Off Mask, which I absolutely adore. Got the entire Atopam MLE Cream in here, which you can use for your face, body, kids everywhere, <laughs> anywhere. And we also have the full Dewy Tree AC Control Deep Green Calming Pads with 60 of them in there. So that's eight products and the entire value of this is actually over US $146. But we're giving it to you guys at only $79 with free express worldwide shipping. <laughs> So yeah, I'm so excited. It also has a pamphlet that we designed together as well for a long time. And it has all of the information that I wrote up for you guys on how to use it and what it's good for and what step it is, etc. Meech Muses, lit from within K-Beauty box for tired, dull or sensitive skin. Yes, this is appropriate for sensitive skin and all of the products in the box are free of artificial fragrance, colorants, parabens, sulfates, animal ingredients and harsh alcohols. And it's also suitable for those who are pregnant or nursing. <laughs> I'm so, so excited for this one because it's literally like just me in a box and I've organized and done and made every part of it for you guys. I designed everything with a purpose. It's meant to make you feel bright and beautiful and loved and cherished and pampered when you are feeling stressed or just irritated or something. <laughs> I guarantee that you guys would absolutely love every product in this box and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So yeah, it's only for a limited time. And yes, we are shipping worldwide, so it's open world Wide, but get in there as quickly as you can. I'll leave the link for you guys down in the description bar below. Uh, we only have a very, very small quantity of these, so they won't be available anymore after it's sold out this time. But, but yeah, this is my little gift to you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy this beauty box. Link below. And also I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this on my Instagram. So stay tuned. Please guys, if you do get it, share it with me, send in your photos, send in your Insta stories, tag me in your stories. And I would love to see you unboxing it and enjoying the products and everything so yes thanks guys so that's my special announcement for the video for the hundredth time i hope you guys love it <laughs> so while we were talking about this amazing sunscreen because i didn't want to bore you guys while i'm like stuck in limbo it is actually kind of like a cream colored sunscreen but it blends into like transparency and just kind of lifts up your skin tone a little tiny bit not too much and if you are not into like super hydrating moisturizing gelish kind of sun creams there are a lot of korean sun creams that have the nicest consistency and it's very light but it actually leaves your skin a little bit greasy and oily but this one it leaves the skin feeling soft and velvety it's not not greasy at all and it's very layerable like it's just like the most amazing texture it blends really nicely but it's not greasy I don't know how to describe it, it improves wrinkles as well blocks your skin from UV damage super gentle best sunscreen ever because I am pregnant my whole mind is about babies right now <laughs> I did want to mention another sunscreen that's actually really great for mums because I know a lot of mums are looking for good sunscreens for their children too and this is another one that you're looking specifically for like baby sunscreen I wanted to mention it it's from a brand that I really, really fell in love with it's called Botanical Therapy. And actually, I love all of their products. Look at this, guys. Look how well used it is. It's all gone. Like, it's an empty and the front is all gone. Can't even see the design of it. But it's so amazing. This one is a washable sun milk. Anyone who has babies knows that it's really hard to wash off sunscreen off your babies. You need to do double step cleansing.
cleansing to really take it off, but it's really hard to do that with babies when like their eyes are so sensitive and it's just really finicky. But what I came across was this washable sun milk from Botanical Therapy, and this is also a physical sunscreen, non-fragranced, no harsh alcohols, parabens, essential oils, all that stuff. It's got SPF of 32, PA double plus, so you do have to reapply. But the plus side of this is that it's a washable sun milk. So it actually washes off super easily with just like one gentle cleanser or even just with water. It's amazing because it just makes parents' lives so much easier and it's also gentle for babies too. As soon as I tried it, I knew that I had to like share it with you guys and I really wanted to let it be available to you guys. So yeah, I don't think they, I couldn't even find them really on Amazon, but it's amazing. They have really good ingredients in there as well. Seriously, I really love these guys. Currently, they're my absolute hands down favorite baby skincare brand, Botanical Therapy. I love the Baby Sicker Cream. This is a thicker kind of sicker based cream that's really great as the last step of skincare on baby's face or anywhere that you want to target for super moisture. Sika is great for soothing and so many different benefits of the skin. I love that. A lighter lotion that I just use all over Leo's like body after a bath is the Botanical Therapy Baby Lotion. And he loves to just pump it himself. It absorbs really nicely. There is a nice Pyongyang Yun one as well, but I much, much prefer this one. So this is my absolute favorite. It's very, very nice to blend. It's completely non-fragranced and it's just, it's lighter and absorbs more gently and nicer than some of the other baby skincare that's on the market that I used to like. It's been tested for 48 hours of moisture retention. So it's really effective, but light and handy. And I love the baby oil. It's 100% organic oils with no preservatives. Got macadamia seed, jojoba seed, and moringa seed. It's so non-sticky and so nice to apply, but it does its job of very lightly becoming one with the skin, if that makes sense. It's so nice. It doesn't smell strong. Works really nice on the stomach as well for anti-stretch marks and also for my face. So <laughs> I love this brand and I wanted to let you guys know it's available on Curated by Jen if you want. I'm not trying to hard sell it to you guys. I literally believe in these brands and I want you guys to be able to try it, but it's not available anywhere else. That's why we curated it so that you guys can access it. We're actually doing our very best to get the best pricing according to what the brand can agree with because brands usually have to agree with like the pricing that you put up and we kind of haggle because I'm like, can, can we do a better pricing than that? Like a little bit more when we push it. So yeah, we do have periodic sales on everything as well. Um, my goal literally is not to make a lot of money from Curated by Jen. To be honest, it's very, very not lucrative for me. It's uh, it's a bit of a time waster to be honest from a productive standpoint because I really don't get much return from it. Um, I can make a lot more from just doing like one sponsorship in my YouTube videos but I do all this and like organize everything behind the scenes and designing everything and doing Instagram, social media and like curating and everything because I want you guys to be able to access my favorite products like things that are actually really really amazing even if no one else is like stocking it. So that's what my heart is behind CBJ just a quick little um, reassurance to you guys. Another thing for kids while I'm on the topic, I'm wrapping, but please forgive me. I have a lot of good products to get through and Leo's gonna come back soon. So Atto Palms Kids Fresh Facial Cleanser. So you guys remember Atto Palm from this MLE cream? It's the same brand, but they recently came out with this kids line. They actually have dedicated kids line, which is like top to toe wash, shampoo, things that I absolutely love as well. It's already on CBJ, but they came out with a recent one that's this like yellow theme and it actually has like a little kids face on it and character and it says kids on the actual like theme and I've actually been loving every product from this line but this fresh facial cleanser and the shampoo and body wash I believe I'm trying to remember what their names are but I'm imagining them as they are right now in my shower we use it all the time on Leo right now it actually has a beautiful soft foam let me show you guys it has a really nice soft foam, but it's not using sulfates. It's using, I think it was using like some kind of plant derived something, but um, it's super gentle and it has a natural, really cute kind of blueberry. Oh, it smells so cute. <laughs> I love when Leo, and he comes out and his hair smells like this. It's so cute. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Do you remember? Yenare, there used to be this toy called Taro. Mashimaro? Do you guys remember Mashimaro? My childhood was filled with this white character called Mashimaro and they always used to smell like this particular smell. And actually, I just realized this smells a little bit like that. But it's like softer and a little bit more like blueberry undertoned, but natural as well. It doesn't give William or me a headache who's super sensitive to smells. The fragrance is like natural fragrance, but yeah, it has no parabens, no harsh alcohols, PEGs and essential oils. And it does a really great job of cleansing his face. So when I use sunscreen on his face or anything, 
this is what I use. Just wanted to feature one from this line, but I honestly love all of the kids' lines. So we've just recently curated them too. So it's available there. And I wanted to let you guys know for all the mums out there who's looking for really good Korean baby skincare. To be honest, I think Korean baby skincare is probably one of the best on the market. It's, there's nothing like it. It's just the absorbency, the gentleness, the thoughtfulness of the ingredients, the thoughtfulness of the functions and the texture and everything, like nothing compares. Okay. So that is for my skincare and we're going to move on now to makeup. <laughs> this is going to be such a massive video. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. But yeah, so that's it for skincare of my September favorites. Don't forget to grab your boxes while you can because it, they'll probably be sold out like maximum within a week. And it's amazing quality. Best products ever. You have to get the sunscreen. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys miss the sunscreen, we're going to try and stock it on our site too. Settle Happy Co. Okay, I absolutely love this brand. I actually, to be honest, only got it like last week and I've been using it throughout the past week. I love all their products so far. I like their skincare products, but this one is actually a little bit more of like a makeup.